Hey, welcome everybody. This video, I'm gonna be talking about creating functions that invoke other functions. Maybe this is really simple for you, but for me, it took some time just to kind of comprehend how things were executing. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. And I went back to the code we had from a previous video. You can type it out if you wanna get up to speed, but pretty much we have this function greet all, and it takes a list of people, it iterates through the list and prints hello person for each one. And I mentioned earlier that you could replace this print with another function call. So that's actually what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say greet, and then I'm going to pass in the person. And this greet function doesn't exist yet, so I'm gonna create that above. I could paste the code I had from earlier, but I'm just gonna recreate it. So I'll say def greet, and this is going to take a person. And in here, what we'll do is we'll create the custom message for this person. And we're actually going to return the message. So we'll say return, and then we'll say hello plus person. And you can imagine this function being a little bit more complex. Maybe we have another flag variable, maybe like first time, if it's the first time in the app. And we will default that to false. And we could case and say, hey, if this is the first time, give them a different message. So if first time, and then just return something different, such as first time for everything, right? Welcome plus person, like so. All right, because this is returning data, we actually have to do something with it here. So since this greet all, I kind of assume it's gonna print to the console. I'm just gonna do that here. So I'll say print greet person. We're running this and there you go. It prints everybody's names. And if for some reason we wanted to say that these people are all new people, we would just pass in another argument, comma, and we would say true. Running it now, and it would say first time. Now notice that this greet returns the data instead of printing it directly, which makes it a little bit more useful because we can actually get that value returned and then use it for something else. In this situation, we're just printing it, but we might be able to use that for whatever we want. We might assign it to some data that's showing up on our website or on our application, whatever it can be. So generally you should return data whenever you can, as opposed to just printing a bunch of stuff to the console. So to understand the way this is invoked, it starts here. The whole process actually starts at the bottom. So we define the functions, but they don't actually get executed until line 12. I mean, technically all of this stuff here does get hit first, but the functions are not actually ran until line 12. This data is defined on line 10, and that's obvious because we have to use it in line 12. When we do greet all, it goes to line seven, and it starts a loop. And for each iteration of that loop, let's say the first iteration, we're working with the first person, Bob, it does greet, passes in that person, jumps up to line two. First time is true, so it returns this data, and then we jump back. That data is returned and is passed to print, which shows up in the terminal. And then the next iteration of the loop, we're on Josh, that same process is repeated. And then eventually it gets through all of the data, this loop finishes, that concludes this function here, and we go back to line 12. And if we had more statements after line 12, it would continue going. So hopefully that's not too confusing, just get some practice working with functions that invoke other functions. Again, just try to think of it as a black box. We don't have to worry about this greet a whole lot. Just pay attention to this function here. 